Hi. In today's video, we will see how we can create Sankey diagram charts using the ggplot. The charts like this, like this, and like this. We can make use of the title, subtitle. We can also label the data labels with the names and values of each node you can see. And then we can also have the name of each of the stage, for example, this is the hospitals, this is gender, this is the age group outcome and discharge to etc. So let's get started. So we'll be using a GitHub package written by David Stoberg, and this package is called Sankey. So this is not available on CRAN, so you would have to use, first of all, you will have to install the remotes packages by using this command. And then after that, you would have to go and install this package from the GitHub at this location. I find this GG Sankey very useful in my day-to-day -day presentations or Word documents or PowerPoints because when you use ggplot, you can get a uniform look and feel for all your charts. So I don't want to have a mix of charts, one chart from a high charter chart, one from um, another library, one from the base plot, and one from the ggplot. To, to have a uniform presentation or a corporate look in your charts, in your Word documents or PowerPoints, you need to make sure that you use the same library so that the look and feel is uniform in all your charts. So once I install the package, I can call those packages. So I'll be using the GG Sankey package, ggplot2 and dplyr. Let's create some sample data. And this is how our data looks. We have hospital, name of the hospitals, A, B, C, D, etc. The gender, male, female, and the outcome, whether the patient survived or died. So now I'm going to use a command which is available in the GG Sankey package and it's called make long. So if I run this and I'm giving that we want to have the hospital, gender, and outcome, these three data fields. So once I run this make long command, so this is how the data is going to look like x and the next x node and the next node and you can see the last node after that is na's so with this data let's make a simple chart so this is the command for that so it's basic ggplot command saying data is df which we just created and aesthetics x equals x this one next x equals this Next node equals this, and fill is by the factor of the node. Node is the hospital. So let's see what it does for us. And notice that we have a geom Sankey geometry, courtesy to the GG Sankey. And we are saying that the flow alpha is 0 0.5. That means the transparencies, which we want to have a bit of a transparency in, in the colors. And the node color would be black. Let me run this three lines. We have a basic Sankey chart without any descriptions or without any numbers, etc. And if you say show legend equals false, then there won't be any legends on the right hand side. Or, but let's make this chart a bit more presentable in terms of having some additional information. So I'm adding some theme commands so i'm using the theme bw and we're telling that we don't want to have any legends and we just want to get rid of the titles because that doesn't mean anything in this case so we just want to get rid of the access titles only thing which we might be interested in is these different stages that we have different names like this is representing the hospital this is useful so let's keep that and remove everything else so if I run everything, this is how the chart is going to look like. So this chart is now more meaningful. We have a title, subtitle, and we have a bit of color there. And then we have, the, the for each flow, we have the, the names of the entities there and a little uh, caption at the bottom. So this chart looks good, but we still are missing something. And that is the numbers or the information of the nodes. So we have another command called jom sankey label, 
I'm just going to put this information there. And we also want to have a label option there. Thing. And this has to be within the aesthetic, so it should go yeah. So suddenly you can see that by putting this label equals node command within the aesthetics, we are able to get the, the names of each node. And the position of that can be controlled. And the way I'm controlling is by using the H justification. You can also use V justification in that. For example, if I remove this line, now it's sitting right in the middle of it. You can play with the V justification and H justification and see what it looks like. And this is an experimentation. You'll have to keep on experimenting to see what, what is more useful for you. We are still missing something. It'll be great if we have the numbers because Sankey gives us the flow. It looks all right that, you know, there's, in the hospital D, there's some males and then some females and some of them survived, some of them died, but we don't have the numbers there. The most important bit here would be to get the numbers because anybody who looks at the Sankey chart would need to know what are the numbers there. So let's have a clean slate again. And if you recall, I started with these lines. So that gives us the data, and that also gives us the, the data which the GG Sankey is going to use, which was this. So let's go one step further. I'm going to create the numbers, the total numbers, by creating another data set called D aggregate or D ag. I'm grouping the data by node, and then I'm simply taking the frequency of that. This is what it's going to look like for each node is given us the total so many patients died so many of them are female so many of them came from hospital a and so on so making use of this i can merge the two data sets together this one which is this and the other one which we just created the egg which just gives the total numbers so if I use the merge command and say, this is my first data set, this is my second data set. And in the X data set, which is the first data set, we need to link it by the node. This, this column. And then Y means the second data set, which was DAG. And in that also, we happen to have a uh, column called node so we're just going to join on those and we are saying all dot x equals two that means we want to see everything in the in the first table we have a detailed video on how to merge the data sets if you want to know more about the merge command you can have a look at that also if i run this df2 suddenly we have the n the numbers in front of this. So making use of this additional column, let's create a chart now. So this is a command. We are saying that we want to have the label there and the label should be the name of the node, which was hospital D, C, etc. And then we want to have this line, N equals N, the number of the numbers for each of the nodes. So let's run everything together. And I'm using a bit of the color there, saying color equals gray 40. And then in this case, I am also using the John Sankey label, saying the color is white, and the fill would be gray in this case. So let's run it. And call this as chart two. So now the charts look a bit more useful. For each entity we have, or for each node, we know that hospital D there were 26 patients, C had 22, there were 47 males, and there was 51 died, and 49 of the patients survived. So now this chart is more useful and practical. So let's go one step further. This time I'm going to have a bigger data set. There'll be still 100 rows in that, 
but we want to have number of hospitals there. So I'm using this lattice command, which will give us from hospital A, hospital B, hospital C, etc. And notice that I'm also using the age there as well. So if I run everything, so now we have one, two, three, four, five columns and number of hospitals, number of discharge facilities where the patient was discharged after the uh, stay in the hospital. Notice that we have age column in there, which has the age of the patient. And this is in character. So I'll have to convert this into a numeric column first or an integer. I'm using this command to convert the age into integers. Now it has converted into integers. And I'm going to use another command, which is to create the age groups. We have a detailed video on how to create or cut ages into different age groups. You can have a look at that video also. So now my data set looks like this. For the age, we have the age group as well. Now we're going to repeat the three steps which we did previously using the make long command, which comes with the GG Sankey package. So converting this with the, the groupings which we want to use, we have hospital, we have gender, age group, outcome, and discharge too. So run this and then create another data set for the aggregate, the DAG. Let me show you how the DAG is going to look like. Now for each and every node entity, it has given us the totals. And now finally we merge it together. We get our DF2 data set, which we can use for our plotting now. This is how it's going to look like. And there'll be some columns which will be NS because this is the end node. So this is going to be our chart. And in this case, I want to give a bit more different color to my chart using the scale fill radius option using option equals inferno. Okay, so here is our chart, which looks quite neat. We have all the hospitals from A to Z. And then for each hospital, we have the frequency there, male, female, and then this is the age groups. And it's quite neat and clear because we have uh, the entities being labeled there very clearly. So we can see hospitals, gender, age group, outcome, and discharge to facilities. And in the last, I'm going to show you how to make use of colors. What if you wanted to control your colors? In the last, let's see how we can control the colors by defining each color for each node. So I'm going to create a simple data set now, um, which is which we have already seen. And this is our command for creating the charts. So let's run this. Okay, we get some color, but let's now go and control the color. So first you have to see how many nodes you have. And I want to just color them differently. So I'm saying, this equals this, this equals that. Hospital A should be green, hospital B should be blue, hospital C should be orange, and so on. So let's run this. So now you can see that the color has been controlled. You actually define your own colors. And let's see if I miss a particular color. Let's say if I remove this line, and let's see what happens. You would notice that this has turned into the gray color. So you don't lose anything, you just don't get the, the color. And lastly, we will see how we can create percentage labels in the nodes as well. So I'll start with my data again. I'm going to use this command n row, which is number of rows in our data set D. And if I run it, you would see that total count is 100. So our first step again is to use the make long. And our step two would be to create our aggregate data, which we saw earlier. Once we have the aggregate data, we got to do another modification or transformation to create the percentage. And we would use this command to do that. 
So we are saying we want to create another column called percentage by using the mutate command. And we are saying that the number n in each row, then divided by the total count. And if I run this, you would see what I mean. So if I look at D aggregate, we have a percentage column uh, which is giving a percentage of each of those nodes. And there's 54% females, and there's 23% patients came from hospital C and so on. Now we're going to merge the data. And these steps are all common, which we saw earlier also. There's nothing new. Only thing new has been this command, the percentage column by using the total count and then using the, the frequency which we already created. If I run this command again, df2, we are ready with our data set. So if I look at df2 now, you would see that apart from the n, the, the frequency, we also have a percentage column in there. Now all I need to do is use the plot command again. And if I run it, you have a chart which gives the actual numbers n equals 21 and it also gives the frequency of uh, of the node so you can also look at the code which is available in our pubs and the link has been given in the description i hope you found this information useful and practical thank you very much for watching it and i'll see you in the next one